my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Oh, outstanding indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we're going to have a killer beer. Ooh, this is from the Flying Dog Brewing Company. They're located in Frederick, Maryland, and this is a seasonal special. 451 Juicy IPA, and look at that alcohol. It's not for lightweights. 11% alcohol by volume, and it says right there, we better enjoy it before August 19th of 2022 and we're well within those confines let's put it over here just in case no doubt about it. let's open her up slowly Ooh, there we go and when you open it up slow you, you get a lovely bottle cap that's undented now I have flipped them off not that way silly I flipped them off, but I don't do that anymore because sometimes you'll get a geyser, <laughs> a geyser come out of it. It's not the glass. What am I picking that glass up for? I want this glass right here. The Spiegelau glassware. 12-ounce beer, 15-ounce glass, but it's all good. We're going to build up some good head and make it look like a full pour. There you go, baby. Now, this is a relatively clear pour. It's a copper color. At least I'm going to describe it. Well, maybe not copper. No, I'll take that back. It's a golden orange color. How about that? With an off-white head. It has an off-white head to it. Oh, man, that is juicy. Mm, some lovely orange peel in there. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. But I tell you what, I've had this before. I had it the last couple of years. It'll knock your socks off if you're not careful. It'll put you right under the bus. Dr. Dave knows. <laughs> when I lived downtown, they used to have this at a bar on tap. Man, they served it in 10-ounce snifters, but they should have served it in 6-ounce snifters. It just goes down a little bit too easy. Yeah, let me thank the brewers there, Flying Dog and Frederick Maryland, for all the hard work they do to make each and every batch to make guys like me happy. And many thanks to you at home for watching. Cheers to everybody. Ooh, wait. You see, the problem with this beer is it's got that lovely, sweet orange flavor right up front. And it blends with the malts really well. And then it's a really smooth, easy drinking finish. It belies the fact that it's 11%. And that is what's going to get you into trouble, my friends. Mm. Now, I like this beer a little bit on the cool side. That's just my preference. You may not like it on the cool side. You may find it uh, tastes better if it warms up. Most time, I like my IPAs on the warm side, but not this one. Because the warmer that this beer gets, the more I can taste that alcohol. And I don't know about anybody else watching, but I don't necessarily like to drink beer just for the alcohol content. I don't care if it's a 3% beer or an 18% beer. I'm drinking it for the flavors. I could care less about the alcohol. Yeah, the alcohol in the end is going to get you tipsy if you drink too many too quickly. That's the story on alcohol. If you know what you're doing and you drink one of these every hour, you're not going to get tipsy. Now, you may feel it when you stand up and say, oh, man, I, felt, I feel a little funny here. Yeah, should you operate a motor vehicle? Absolutely not. But you won't be stumbling drunk. You won't be stumbling down. You won't be falling across your shoelaces and <laughs> stuff like that. That's embarrassing at a bar. Yeah. But anyway, uh, you got to take your time on these. This is a sipping beer. It tastes fabulous, but you got to take your time with it. And I tell you, as good as this beer is, the quality of the beer, and considering it's 11%, 
the bottle was $3.85, which is not a lot of money at all. But you go into a bar, you're most likely going to pay upwards of $8, depending on where you live. Now, some smaller cities, you may not pay that much. But in major metropolitan areas, you're going to pay at least $8. And in places like New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles, you could pay a whole lot more. If you can find it in those cities, no doubt. Oh, man, the aroma is fabulous on this. I would highly recommend this beer to anybody. I highly recommend it. Now, it's a seasonal, so don't wait too long. It's already been out about a month or so. Um, this beer right here, it says it's good before August of 2022, but I think I've had it in my fridge about a month. Yeah, because this beer comes out at the beginning of May to mid-May, and here we are towards the end of June. So if you really want this beer, you're going to have to go out and look for it. And if you're going to buy a six-pack, I believe it comes in six-packs, you're going to pay uh, probably about $16 to $17 for a six-pack. Yeah. This is a full-bodied beer with great flavors. Easy drinking, but again, easy does it. Yeah, it's medium carbonation. This beer is not going to get lost in the sauce on any food. But I would want to drink this all by itself just to enjoy its lovely flavors. Uh, the hops and the malts are just in the right proportion. And the alcohol is completely hidden, so be careful. You're warned. Be warned. <laughs> all right, my friends. Life is short. Let's be happy. And to that end, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And until we meet next time, cheers.